Hey guys, uh, it's Iceman again, and uh, here we have the Devil Joe, as requested by, sorry, I can't remember your username right now, but uh, you did comment on the Rothalos quest, um, so here's the Devil Joe for you. I'll be using the Lion's Bane, which you get from the event quest that's out now, the one where you capture the Devil Joe, and um, Escadora Armor because when awakened the sword has dragon element and uh, on my Escador armor I gemmed in evade plus one so it's got evade distance, blight proof, um, evasion plus one and awaken so that's the set I'll be using today uh, my teammates are Dana, Bobo, and Tokashi um, and we're just fighting the Devil Joe in the Tundra. Here, Bobo got a KO on it, so I'm just trying to get some level 3 charges in. Um, I don't fight that many Devil Joes. I don't have any Devil Joe weapons. Um, I have one piece of Devil Joe armor, and I have like four gems, just because I haven't really made anything yet. I think I'll probably make the Anguish P, or... No, I'll probably make the Anguish P. Anyway, um, see, so yeah, I'm just looking for some fangs right now to make the beginning of it or whatever I need. And, um, I believe the quest is Be Devil of Devil Joe, and you fight him in the tundra. And, well, as I said before, I don't fight very many Devil Joes, so I'm not used to fighting him. I'm still learning his strategies, but I ended up only using six normal potions by the end of this video, um, so that was pretty good. And I'm just going to warn you beforehand, um, as he's limping away, I have to cut out some parts of the, it's only towards the end, but as he's limping away in area one into the final area, um, my computer decided to crap out on me, so uh, I wasn't able to, my processor wasn't good enough to not be able to lag the end of this video at this kind of quality um, in case you couldn't tell I was using widescreen so um, it was just a little too difficult for my computer to handle towards the end so I had to cut that part out but you will see the main quest complete and you will see when he's limping away um, it, just a little uh, notice I suppose uh, we stagger him a lot and in particular I always seem to stagger him right when he's about to use an attack not necessarily on me but just in general and uh, so some some things about great sorting devil Joe at least in my experience is that uh, basically if he's in rage mode get out of the area to heal because otherwise it'll just it'll just annihilate you um, he hasn't gone into rage mode at all yet. Uh, I don't believe so, at least. Maybe once. Oh, yeah, it was once. Anyway, as I was saying, um, when he's in rage mode with the great sword, you kind of want to maybe not go up to him and try and do a level 3 charge. That probably won't work out so well. I mean, you can try it if he's, like, exhausted, of course, but, I mean, otherwise he's just going to annihilate you. Um... So that's the second hammer KO. They get a ton of KOs. Um, Bobo's using the what was it Dev Devil's Crush or something like that, and then uh, the Tokashi is using the Devil's Dew, the one before that. And so I think they get a total of five or six KOs in this. And uh, so as you can see, he's in rage mode. So I'm just kind of staying back, waiting to see when a good opening would be. I'm basically waiting for staggers, KOs, or his dragon breath, and um, in this first area I wasn't really going for the tail as much as I probably wanted to, mainly because I was just waiting for him to get into a new area so that his tail wouldn't be so difficult to get to. Um, because when you're in a big area like this, he has lots of room to move, so obviously his tail is going to be a little difficult to get since it's always behind him. Um, when he does his tail spins, depending on how close you are, you can get off a level 2 or a level 3 charge. And, uh, and when he's 
just like this. You can get off a draw, a slap, and then a level three from the the, the wind up level three charge. So here he's going to area area I can't remember. So let's find out. Area five, no six, seven. Area seven. Sorry, it's a little hard to read on the previous screen. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the first shock trap. Um, everybody else kind of laid down some meat. I didn't have any materials really for me to make any meat, so I forgot to like go out and hunt for the materials. And I only have like one pair of shroom and two toadstools. So I figured I'll just put those on the farm offline and see how that goes. So here I'm just trying to get off some charges on his tail. I got off two level threes and then I great sword snipe right there and get one with that. And uh, so in this area I'm really going for the tail because I know at this point it's got to be pretty weak after all those charges and everything. So unfortunately I kind of made that my only goal so I wasn't thinking so much just about damage but uh I think I still did pretty good on uh not getting hit like normally when I go for the tail on any monster really uh Alatrion in particular um I'll always just get hit because I'll be focusing on the tail and then I'll always have my camera not pointing at the monster and that's just a uh, personal problem I need to I need to get through, not really a tip for anybody, but um, I upswing the tail quite a lot against Devil Joe just because it's so high up. And here it falls asleep. I wasn't told that people would be bringing sleep meat, so I forgot to bring bombs. Um, this was a little unorganized. They said that they were going to detonate the bomb, and it just turned out all weird and stuff. Like. Um, I wasn't sure if they wanted me to go for the tail as they were detonating the bomb, but uh, they killed, they got the bombs off anyway. So, uh, it roars right away. I should have been expecting that, but I wasn't. Um, let's see, more about this area in particular. It's very cramped, it's very small. You're going to need life powders for this area because your teammates and you are going to be getting hit a ton just because those little swipes he does just three of them will get them all the way across left and right um, from the doorways to the other side they'll get them across um, so you gotta be careful about that otherwise when he turns around from his tail swipes you can just go ahead and try and get a overhead slash in or a draw slash or something this will be the last potion I use I have life powders I use but I, I don't count those no, wait, I miscounted. I used six potions. Anyway, so here I am going for the tail again. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but the video is dropping a couple of frames. Um, but for whatever reason, the audio is still keeping fairly well. Here I use a life powder to save Dana. Um, I couldn't tell if he or she left the area right before I used that or not, but... I'm assuming not since she said thank you, but um, anyway, the tail is about to come off, just a little FYI, and Tokashi just gets annihilated there, pinned, pinned between the doorway. I tried to go for the tail here, but the legs keep kicking me the other way, so I just go ahead and go for the body shots and the leg shots. Maybe I'll be able to stagger those and get them to fall over. Um, Oh, just a little question if anybody knows if the monster is uh, like say fallen over because you hit them in one leg and they fell over and you were able to stagger it or whatever you do to get them to fall over will will any hits that you get on the other leg during that time also count towards him falling over again um, I was just not sure if it's anything like status where you can inflict status um, until the status is ended. Except for maybe poison, I don't know how that one works. Just kind of a useless element to me. Um, so I just get tail whipped a couple of times in this area and super pounded and whatnot. We're about 
9 minutes and 58 seconds in. Uh, I've been a little repetitive in this, but as I said before in my last video, tell your friends, tell your buddies, I'll try and get more people to watch these videos, and um, I'll probably get them out more often. Um, off comes the tail. Oh, never mind, it must, it must be next time I... Here it is, off comes the tail. And, uh, well, then he decides to limp off to area, whatever that one up there is, or not limp, just walk over. And unfortunately, I cut out the entire of that area because it's just so dark, and I don't play with my game brightness up, so I just cut that out. It was uninteresting anyway. I mean, there were some good hits and stuff, but it was nothing special. Um, it was just me doing the same thing I've been doing. So here, he just ate a popo, and he decides he's going to limp off to area one. And as I said in the beginning of the video, it lagged, so I had to cut it out. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the end. And I'm very sorry. I'm still working on quality. As you can see, this is probably a lot better than they were before. But uh, you guys can expect another video out, video out next weekend, and uh, I'll see you guys later.